のか。Jack? Jack Larson? Oh my god. You look just like her. Who? Your mother. Thank you for responding to my, my Facebook page. I, I'm not too internet savvy. My, my son did most of the work. Oh, please, uh, would, would you like a drink? Sure. A anything you want, it's on me. <laughs> a Zinfandel, please. <laughs> That's what she used to drink. That and martinis, and quite a lot of them. <laughs> Forgive me, Mr. Larson, but I was just- Oh, Jack, call, call me Jack. Jack, uh, the message you left me just sounded so cryptic. I didn't know what to make of it. Why did you need to see me so urgently? I've wanted to do this for quite some time. What? Do what? This. Uh, meeting you. Okay. Um... Are you crying? Are you... Are you upset or something? I... If I could say one thing to the youth of today, it would be carpe diem. Seize the moment. Don't live with regret. Not, not like I have for all these years. I should have done this a long time ago. Oh my God. I'm, um, I I'm... This is so trippy. You have no idea. I just saw a show on cable about this, about people being reunited with their long lost loved ones. You know what they say? That if you put an intention out into the universe, the universe responds in kind. I had this feeling about today. Samantha. Oh, my God. Daddy. Oh, my gosh. I've dreamt about this moment my entire life. There was always this piece of me that was missing until now. Oh, my God. Hold, hold on to your horses for just a minute. Let's, let's not oh get ahead God. of ourselves. What are you talking about? We should make a toast. A toast. Not exactly. Toast to... You found me. And let's never, ever let time separate us again. What's in the bag? Something uh, I wanted to give you for quite some time. I don't really understand. Your mother gave this to me a long time ago, before you were born. We went to school together since, since kindergarten. She's never mentioned me at all. No. Figures, she, she, she said she wouldn't. Wait a minute. I remember you at the funeral. You're the guy who got my dad so pissed. I mean, my stepdad. <laughs> Your stepdad. All I wanted to do was put a rose on her casket. It ate him up that Sherry and I had this special connection. She admitted to me quite often that she just never felt it with him. Uh, this is a horrible idea. I, I'd, I'd better be going. Wait, wait, wait. No, please. Don't, don't go. Please, have a seat. It's no trouble at all, really. It's okay. <laughs> don't worry. I loved her so much. She gave this to me a long time ago, and now I want to give it to you. How long have you had this pillow? Since um, fifth grade. <laughs> she used to have these uh, slumber parties, uh, girls in pajamas. I, I would watch from across the street, looking out my bedroom window. Pillow fights, squeals of glee, it sounded like heaven, angels singing. <laughs> Well, one night, she must have left her window open. Uh, I was walking my dog, Barney, and I got bopped upside the face with this pillow. <laughs> oh, whenever I got near her or, or the house, uh, I, my heart would race. I, I, I'd sweat bullets, uh, butterflies, the whole nine. And then when this pillow hit me and I realized where it came from, I bolted for home. I, smelled so good. It smelled like roses. 
I snuck it into my bedroom and put it on my bed. Did she ever come looking for it? Oh, no. God, no. Oh. Why is there a hole in it right here? I, I was a shy kid. Um, still kind of shy. I, I wanted to give it back to her, but I realized that if I gave it back to her, I would lose that piece of her that I could keep for myself. Hmm. Did you ever say anything to her? No, I, I was just chicken shit, I guess. Um, when I reached puberty and began to know myself, oh, my imagination went wild. I spent endless nights with her. You... That explains the whole. You're not my dad, are you? I, I could have been. How dare you? How dare you, you I, sick asshole! I, I knew this was gonna happen. I, oh yeah, I really you knew didn't... it was gonna happen? I didn't want... What are you talking about? My mother should have had a restraining order filed against you. She did. Don't ever speak to me again, you freak. And then the guy tells me that he's been hooking this pillow, Same. pretending it's my mom. At first I thought maybe he was my biological father, but then I just realized that he was this sad old... Pervert? tried to give me this pillow like I'm supposed to hold on to this thing that he's been putting his junk in for God knows how long. Ugh. Whatever happened to him? Maybe he's got a whole closet full of pillows. <gasps> I don't know. Hey, whatever happened to that old guy? Jack. Yeah, uh, he died about a week ago. Aneurysm. Oh, shit. Well, Sucks. He... I wanted me to give this to you, in case you ever stop by again. I had a feeling you would. Send me the pillow that you dream of So darling, I can dream on it too So I can dream on it too Touching that right now? After yeah. I just told you he's been putting his dick in there? I didn't know if that was the one. His, excuse me, his 